These dramatic photos from the edge of space were captured not by NASA, not by the International Space Station, but by a tiny camera mounted on a paper aeroplane, dragged up into space by a helium balloon. On this video, you can actually hear the moment the balloon pops. Back home in Paynton in Devon, Steve Daniels, part of the team which launched it, can still hardly believe what they achieved. To actually manage to catch the edge, the curvature of the Earth and space and see the atmosphere, we were very, very pleased with that. And that was uh, that was one of the high points when we actually got the got the cameras back and 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 played played the video. We were very, very pleased with, with what we, we ended up at. Steve designed the GPS tracking device, which allowed the team to find the plane built from simple straws and paper when it returned to Earth, not far from where they'd launched it in Spain. Remarkably, the only damage from its fall from 90,000 feet was a small hole in the wing. We were expecting the plane to be fairly damaged and, and surprisingly it was pretty much intact, you know, so it's, uh, we were Considering we'd, we'd never flown a, anything like this before, we were, we were very, very pleased with how it turned out. News of their success has spread around the world on the internet and Steve says he's enjoying his 15 minutes of fame. Nobody's done it before. It was a mad idea, but we pulled it off and uh, it's been a lot of fun. And I think, I think that's what, what people have got interested in, the fact we've got some really nice photos. And anybody could have done it if they'd thought of it. Um, and we're looking forward to some competition from some people now. <laughs> They've already had a challenge from a group of Australians, so never mind the upcoming Ashes. This could be the start of a brand new Anglo-Australian rivalry, this time in space. Bob Cruz in Paynton for the West Country tonight.